Nick Bottom, the weaver. Ready? Name what part I am for and proceed. You, Nick Bottom, are set down for Pyramus. What is Pyramus? A lover or a tyrant? A lover who kills himself most gallant for love. Ooh. That will ask for tears in the true performing of it. If I am to do it, let the audience look to their eyes. I will move storms, I will condole in some measure to the rest. Yet my chief humor is for a tyrant. I could play Heracles rarely, or a part of Terracadid to make all split. <clears throat> The raging rocks and shivering shocks shall break the locks of prison gates, and Phimus's car shall shine from far and make and mar the foolish face. <laughs> this was lofty. Now name the rest of the players. Oh, this was Heracles' day in a tyrant's vein. The lover is more condoling. That was just a sneak peek of Chinook High School's presentation of a midsummer's night dream running from March 20th to to the 23rd, now we're joined by the cast here. Now you guys, awesome job. Uh, Dave, maybe I'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about the show. A little bit about the show. Mm -hmm. Well, Midsummer Night's Dream is a five-act Shakespeare comedy, and it's uh, it's a, one of his real light-hearted uh, comedies. I mean, there's fairies in the woods, there's mischief that happens in the woods with the lovers, there's a wonderful triple wedding at the end. So this is just a small amount of the cast. It's a big, mm -hmm. big cast, lots of other actors. Great. Now, the really interesting thing about this production is that you guys have a mentorship program. This is the second year. Morgan, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the mentorship program. Well, the mentorship program here at Chinook uh, is a dream of Sharon Peets, and she wanted to work with students from the high school and bring in community members. So there are four uh, community members involved in the show. <laughs> and then we also have David, who's doing our design. Um, he, he's coming to us from the college, and he's working with college students there as well. We have Rob Stanford from the Yates coming in to work on lights and technical stuff and then we have Scott Maisie coming in to help us with the music as well so okay. it's really a, a great group of people and it's all brought together by Sharon who has a, a beautiful vision for this play and it's great uh, you guys uh, new actors get to work with experienced pros like Jeremy Mason new West theater director maybe you can tell us what it's been like to be a part of this production Jeremy uh, it's cool I mean it's uh, Sharon was my high school drama teacher so it's kind of fun to come back and mm -hmm. Um, you know, the students are so great that it actually forces us adults to maybe up our game a little bit and make sure that we're doing the right thing. Uh, but it's a great way just to, um, you know, as opposed to teaching them, being in the scenes together and learning together and through osmosis. And it's been lots of fun so far. Awesome. Now, Peter, I'm going to pick on you because you're right in front of me here. Okay. Uh, what's it been like to um, have, you know, Jeremy and other people who are in the industry, what's it been like to work with them? Oh, they're so talented. And just watching them work on stage, it just teaches me a lot about how I can become a better actor. Awesome. And are you excited for the performance? So excited. Awesome. And you should be too. Now, when can people come down and check it out? It runs from March the 20th to Saturday the 23rd. Okay. And it's there's matinees, but there are also 7.30 p.m. shows. Okay. And now, where do people get tickets? They get them here at the school, so they can call us directly, 320-7565. And then they can also get them at the door. And it, it, it is presented in the Chinook Media Center right at the school. Great. Thank you guys so much. It's going to be a great show. Here's another little sneak peek at A Midsummer's Night Dream. Robin Starling, the tailor. Here, Peter Quince. You must play Thisbe's mother. <laughs> Tom Sell, the tinker. Here, Peter Quince. You, Pyramus's father. Myself, Fizzy's father, Slug the Joyer, you the lion's part, and I hope here's a play fitted. Have you the lion's part written? Pray you, if it be, give it me, for I am slow of study. He may do it extempore, for it is nothing but roaring. <laughs> Let me play the lion too. I will roar that it will do any man's heart good to hear it. I will roar that the duke will say, Let him roar again. Let him roar again. 